Hi. <sighs> I'm Monday Jones, and today is Sunday, August 2nd, 2020. Um, again, I wasn't planning on doing anything on my social media this whole weekend, and really was taking a lot of time for myself. Uh, but I kept getting pulled and drawn to drawn to doing something and so um, I have decided to incorporate a couple new new decks I got this new deck it's pretty great and um, a tarot deck as well uh, actually it's my first tarot deck that I ever got for myself at like age 13 or something uh, however, I switched over to Oracle cards when I was 20 and have, this is the first time I've picked up a tarot deck since then. So, anyways, I, let me, let me show up and get here, right? <laughs> get grounded and be present with you. So, I, feel like there is a lot going on right now in not only the world, but in just just the people that I've been talking with. This, this full moon that we are actually having tomorrow morning, if you're in the Pacific Northwest, I think it's around 8.30 in the morning, it will be at its fullest peak. And this full moon is in Aquarius, and it's right before the 8.08, the, the Lion's Gate. So this full moon is, is, there's so much going on with this full moon. <laughs> there's a lot of destruction with this full moon. It's, it's necessary though, to bring us into the next, into the next phase. Like, it's like destroying what we don't need so that we're purified to go through that lion's gate on August 8th. Uh, the leveling up. So today, instead of just focusing on the Divine Masculine, I've decided to pull for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. They are energies, right? Disclaimer, energy is not genders that I'm talking about. So this, the, these energies, the yin-yang energy, uh, can be found in all of us. We all have this, we all carry it, and it depends on how far over do we swing to one side or to the other side, right? Well, what I've come to realize, and I'm learning along the way, is that these, these energies really, really mirror each other. And it's almost like the, the, the feminine, or we'll say, like the masculine energy is doing this, and then the feminine energy mirrors it. And then the feminine energy does this, and then the masculine energy mirrors it. And it's like, they're kind of going like, mirroring, step, mirroring, step, mirroring, step. And so today I've decided to pull both energies. And out of the people that I've been talking with online, talking to, uh, or, or with my friends and stuff over the phone, I'm just hearing that a lot of people are going through a lot of things. And it seems like that a lot of people are really, really desiring love right now too. Um, or they are they're are realizing, here, this is a good one. They're, they're, uh, they're realizing that the situation that they're in are holding them back to getting the love that they want or deserve or desire in this lifetime. So I'm seeing a lot of my, a, a lot of people that are close to me, even in, and a lot of people on social media as well, they're going through a lot of breakups. So, so I'm seeing a lot of breakups, but in return, I'm also seeing a lot of people coming together. So it's, a, it's amazing watching this. It's like, get rid of all that baggage I don't want so that I can bring in that new. So I haven't flipped over any of my cards except for the new cards, uh, this new deck, because I just wanted to have a little bit, a clear understanding about what each card was. So that was the only one I flipped over so far. I have the masculine in front of me, and then I have 
the feminine right there. So, let's see. They're side by side. I have mind, body, spirit, and ascend, and the bottom of the deck's here with a final message. So, I am, what I've decided is to channel for the week. So this is for the week of August 2nd through, oh my gosh, whatever it is, August. I'm gonna pull the calendar because I really don't know my dates. Oh, August 2nd through August 8th. I was gonna say the 8th or the 7th. So I pulled for this week and um, hopefully this will give you some insight about your week that you're going through right now. Whoever's watching it out there. I haven't, I actually don't have that many YouTube followers, but I've been putting these Oracle card readings on all of my platforms, even many bits and only fans. So I know that there's people out there watching, I'm starting to flip the cards here. Wow. Okay. Oh, I was just talking about that earlier. That is so rad. So, okay. Got a lot going on here. <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Step up to the lead. Wow, all right. So. I even pulled up mirror. I think I pulled up reflection too. There's a couple mirrorings here. So. Let's see if I can get this in a position to read it better. Um, music. Yeah. Oh, dear masculines, you are, you are definitely, um, having some sorrows it looks like oh the feminines too though the feminine is definitely um dealing with some some stuff themselves <laughs> so hello goodbye yeah yeah i can relate to that one um unbound unbound Okay, very soon, very soon, that love you're looking for is going to happen very soon. <clears throat> Some having a few, what does it look like? Oh, it was this itchy. Somebody thinking about me? Looks like family comes up quite a bit. Daydreaming and visualizing comes up quite a bit on both sides. More forgiveness. I like that forgiveness. You're already doing it. Okay, so I have here in mind, mind, body, spirit of the divine masculine. So in his right now, uh, right now, what I'm what I'm channeling for the divine masculine. Ooh, it's totally is I think he's going to stop crying for a second. Alright, so the divine the divine masculine in his in his headspace right now, he's just I'm sorry, I'm saying he uh, and I just said no gender, which Pardon me, okay? I'm going to say he. Uh, um, hopefully that's not too offensive to anybody out there in our progressive world of pronouns. All right, so in the headspace right now, they're really... They are... <laughs> got the Fool card, which, which is new beginnings. So in the head, they know that new beginnings is coming. So temperance is what we got, and it's... it's they're, they're really in their headspace trying to figure out how to be honest and authentic to themselves and genuine. And they really, really want to be present with themselves. 
in their mind right now, and this, especially in this week, a lot of focus. It looks like they're, they're even gonna focus on exercise and um, creating their experience. They understand that they are creating their own experience in their mind, and they're trying to really like create a positive experience. Uh, I see studies, so maybe they're doing some studying, some self-studying, uh, getting to know them better since they're really trying to be authentic and honest with themselves. Maybe they're doing some studying um, online. Maybe they're they're uh, studying for a new job. Uh, some other things that came up is just school is school's happening here really soon. So maybe they're getting ready to to decide like what is it that they're wanting to do at school. Uh, ways are in the background eating my plant. Um, on the mind is also it's like calling in their their tribe their people their soul family they really don't want to be alone and they are they're really like calling in maybe maybe they're calling in that that higher power to come in for them during this time um, because because their life is crumbling right now sorry to say that but there's some major changes happening right here so in the 3D in the body right now, it's really it's really asking you to just. Um, it says grandmother, I know, and this card always throws me off because I'm like, what do you want me to know about the grandmother? So maybe there is something up with your grandmother, family. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna look it up really quick. I want to see what else it gives me because I know that there's more to it than just that. Maybe they they are they're really uh, not connecting with their their feminine power. So that's what it is. All right. Um, hey boys, I need you to stay out of the plant. Okay. No, no more. Okay, that's better. So it's not it's not necessarily grandmother. It's it's uh, right now in the three D. The masculine is really trying to to get off. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes being a pet owner is very challenging. <laughs> All right, they teach me a lot though, like being human, why they are dogs. So right now, my guys are asking the masculine to really hone in and balance out that, that masculine and that feminine energy and embrace it and, and, and to feel safe in it. This is gonna take one step at a time. Uh, the music keep listening to music it's going to be very calming for you during this time of change because right now your your world is crumbling it's coming down things are shifting and changing for you and 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 it's and it's asking you not to cling on to it but to ground yourself ground yourself during this time meditation would be a great thing for you to be doing if you're feeling this i always feel crooked in this thing uh -huh. bom, bom, bom. Okay. So in your heart space you just 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 relax. <laughs> breathe. It's even saying air, breathe, breathe right now. Just just relax knowing that everything is gonna be okay. Follow your dreams. You are blessed. Um, the moon is even saying a new cycle for you, new beginnings. So remember that in your heart that this, whatever you're going through is just, just a moment in time and that it's going to pass. Okay. That, that it's also asking you like maybe even in your, your heart right now is like, I want to try something new. I need to do something new. I, and, and it's saying, do it, try something new. Hey, I just tried something new. These nails. <laughs> This is not me. Anyway, it's 
fun trying something new though. I've been trying it on. It's it's fun. It's also saying um, you're being called to lead. <clears throat> this is the priestess card, and and it's saying like in your heart you know that if you are honest and authentic with yourself, and you continue to create your experience and and do that studying to to better find yourself and your soul family by taking one step at a time and bouncing out your masculine and your feminine energies inside you and get grounded, you can handle these this change that you're going through because you are the high priestess. Take the lead. Take the lead. And the, um, it also says, ooh, this is great. This is, this is something to look forward to as you're moving through this is, is that uh, you, boys, you're such a turkey. Um, you're gonna get a surge of power and, and be able to embrace all of this that's going on in your life knowing that you create it and you're going to ground yourself maybe with some meditation and this wave of power the surge of energy is going to come your way to help you help you to continue to motivate down this path of of new beginnings it's it's asking you to um no uh parenting and children so this is maybe for some people uh, spending some time with your children or your parents or your, with your your actual maybe your blood family right now spend some time with them maybe you are still needing to do a little bit of work on your relationship with your with your uh, parents um, some internal work it does say here mirror which is who or what is triggering you so this is a good question look at yourself in the mirror and ask like what's triggering you What's some things that are holding you back? It's telling you to get into nature as well. Um, and the mermaid. Oh, I already forgot what the mermaid was. So I am going to look that up very quick. The mermaid is... <clears throat> These are sweet little cards. I got them for one of my kids. Oh, emotional <laughs> sensitive. I think that's interesting because the feminine got that over here too. It's so weird how they, I mean, not weird. It's just, I love when I do these spreads, just how they mirror each other. Um, the, the mermaid is saying that, you know, you, even though you have the surge of power, just, just remember to take one step at a time because you are still a little emotionally fragile. I mean, a lot is go going on right now in your life, so of course you're going to be thrown off emotional. But it's okay to to embrace it and know that it is part of the journey. Don't allow it to take you over um, and uh, get lost in that shadow. Just, just embrace the emotions. Um, emotions are very, very much more of the feminine energy and it is asking you it's asking you to quit resisting and just bounce yourself out get grounded and bounce yourself out in this this femme energy and a great way to do that is through your emotions so i'm going to kind of move this over here so i can stand in front of these cards it's like i'm dancing all right so in the divine feminine for for this week of of April 2nd, April, <laughs> August 2nd through August 8th. This is a, uh, take a time out, some solo time. I'm so doing this right now. Ah, I love it. Solo time, time out. I'm kidless all week. I'm actually kidless for like 10 days. I'm super excited. So I am going to veg out, take some, uh, just be aware of me and nobody else. Solitude, total solitude. So that's what they're asking you to do. Uh, my guys are asking you guys to do, or the cards are saying to do for that feminine. Be curious. <laughs> I love how it's be curious and then underneath is sexuality. This is a good time to embrace your sexuality while you're solo. I mean, most of the time, like when we think about sex, we're, we're, we think about sex with others, right? We don't really embrace that sex inside ourselves. I got all like weird in my shoulders. Um, the so <laughs> I I'm gonna say indulge in some masturbation, <laughs> ladies. 
get sexy with yourself. Maybe go, uh, you know, take a hot bath and spoil yourself in this solitude. <clears throat> there is harmony. There's a lot of harmony happening right now in your mind. Uh, so keep that in there. This is the great gathering. It's all coming together. The soul tribe. Oh, and soul family is on also on the minds of the masculine. This is so, ooh, they're marrying each other, see? So the gathering, like, I was just thinking this morning, I'm like, I wish I could just meet my soul family now. Like, I'm so ready with this karmic shit. I'm so over the karmic shit. I'm, I just want to meet my soul family and start working on what we're supposed to work on. <laughs> Been here too long without them. It's time for me to go home. <laughs> And I guess maybe maybe the subconscious in the masculine is also feeling that and thinking that, like, I don't feel like I'm at home. Why am I not home yet? <laughs> or maybe, maybe because they're they're crumbling and I have the tower over here, like their their worlds are falling down right now that like they they don't feel like they're at home, even in their own home. So the great gathering is coming. The spider, it's also creating your own experiences mirrored at the same over here with the masculine remember feminines her female divine feminine you you and divine masculine we create our own reality we weave it just like the spider weaves the web and whatever we weave is what's going to come to life <clears throat> so if you're up here <coughs> excuse me if you're up here in this dark space of shadow and darkness and gloom and depression and and I don't know your world's falling down and all you can think of is just poor me I'm a victim blah 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 you're gonna weave that that's what your reality is gonna be you're going to be the victim and people are gonna treat you that way do you want to be a victim I don't I mean unless it's consensual or playing sure <laughs> But I don't want to be a victim in my life. I want to be this priestess. I want to take the lead. All right, so in the body right now, it says, um, which I like this. This is really sweet. Uh, it says, heaviness is going to lift. And you'll start to, f uh, your burdens will cast away. And you'll feel weightlessness. And this is where you're going to say hello and goodbye. Hello to the hello to new opportunities and new things in your life and goodbye to the things that do not serve you. And it is going to be happily ever after. And you are supported during this by the by your soul family, your soul tribe. You're supported by this. And it's unbounding, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Tears are coming to my eyes for this. Like I feel like I just got choked up and tomb, which is also grounding, um, creating your own, uh, creating your own reality. This is, this is beautiful. And I love that the, the releasing soul patterns saying hello and goodbye. Nice. And happily ever after in the mind, it says rescue escape, um, captivity. Hmm. Let's see what else we got here. It says, Oh, <laughs> Divine guidance is going to lead you. You just uh, raise your standards, and very soon what you are looking for is coming. It's coming. You just need to leap and let the universe catch you and let them lead the way. And the rose is new beginnings. New beginnings. Which we got Medusa over here, which is also new beginnings. Oh my God. And we got new beginnings on the bottom of the deck. They love this. New beginnings. People, new beginnings are happening um, and then the ascension of the moving forward for the divine feminine it's the priestess oh my god your gift treasure you're also you're raising up I mean, you're leveling up you're moving to the next level you are moving through that that lion's gate and, and, and awakening um, the nowness, the value, you know your own value and you are moving forward because you raised, 
your standards and you took that leap to get there, this is a fantastic. It also says grandparent. So there's a lot of family stuff going on. Maybe it's, it's, um, it's with your, your, again, with your blood family or with your, with your soul family, the, the family maybe you haven't met yet, but that you, or, or soul family that you do have met. You just need to visualize. Um, it's asking you to continue to forgive. There's, there obviously is some more forgiveness maybe of yourself for maybe the trials and errors that you've just gone through or uh, forgiveness of others. Maybe you're holding something against your grandparents or your family at the moment that you just can't let go of. And that forgiving them would be a great way. Visualize forgiving them so that you can you can move through uh, move through this garbage that you're trying to shift th or sift through at the moment. <laughs> I like this. Stop overthinking it. You're already doing it. So if you're like a worry war, like I can be at some points in my life, and you're worried that you're not doing the, doing the work that you need to be doing. <laughs> to level up spiritually, which I'll admit, I'm one of those people I'm constantly trying to redesign myself, <laughs> move path, past to rubbish and get to other places in my life uh, spiritually. Um, I, I want to go at 100 miles per hour. <laughs> but it's, it's just saying stop it. Stop overthinking it. You're, you're already doing, you're already healing. <clears throat> and the witch which I'm spacing what the witch is again. I feel like <clears throat> the witch is also creating your own reality. It's the um, the healer, the, the uh, yeah, skilled, um, skilled and intelligent. So just stop overthinking it because you're already skilled at all this. So we're gonna move it over here. Maybe I could, I could recap a little bit better on that, huh? Let's see if, if it's going to come up. No. Okay. Over here, we have the call. The call, the voice, the acknowledgement. So they're asking you to acknowledge something. Maybe there's a little inner voice talking to you, trying to tell you something. Maybe your gut instinct or your intuition is saying, um, or maybe there's maybe there's a phone call coming your way. Who knows? Maybe you've been waiting on some news, and and it's coming. A voice is coming. The call is coming. Um, it also says uh, worth worth waiting for. So what's that all about? I did order some food, so maybe the food guy's here. Worth waiting for. I'm not sure. Oh, let's see what comes in here. <sighs> maybe you got some plans on your mind. Ooh, yeah. Maybe there's, 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 there's something like, it also just says be patient. Be patient, you will be reported. I love that. So, so while you're struggling, I got it. So while you're going through these, this crumbling stage of your life and this rebuilding, the saying goodbye to things and hello to things, right? It's saying, it's saying just be patient. You will be rewarded through this. Be patient, it's worth waiting for. The work that you are doing is worth doing. Medusa, which is also new beginnings. Um, inner temple, devotion to yourself. Go inside the portal of your heart and ask yourself what it is that you want. More new beginnings. New beginnings is happening, okay? <laughs> Don't worry. No need to worry anymore. It's on its way. It's already happening. Especially if... if voyage. Voyage. New beginnings. Don't be afraid of the unknown. That, that you are... You're supported. You're supported by your soul family. Um, reflections. I like this. Reflections, which we also had the mirror here and asking what are you triggered for triggered at look reflections are really important Look at yourself. What is it that you don't like about yourself? Or what did you what do you like about yourself? What is it that you would like to change? How would you like to mature and evolve as a human? Right? I like this. Oh the financial flow. It's coming, baby I know lots of people are asking for money right now, and it is coming. I promise I 
promise. I feel it too. I totally feel financial flow happening. It's something that I'm working on and manifesting for myself as well. Um, over here, we also had, we had the, We have the tower, which means it's just confirming that things are shifting and changing. There's been some, there's been some, uh, there's been some destruction to your life. Uh, some, you really, you really shifted some things for yourself, maybe internally or externally, whatever it is. Like you, you have, you've destroyed this tower, but don't worry because we are. You're going to be rebuilding it. Let's see here. Um, yes. <laughs> Go on. New beginnings again. New beginnings. New beginnings. And your cup. Your cup is. Is. You right now are. I love this. Your cups. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of cups. You. <laughs> I just read it and I lost it. That was so funny. Let me see if it will spark again as soon as I see it. Oh, yes, I love this. <laughs> it's cute. You've got, you've got some wishful thinking going on right now. Wishful thinking happening right here. Daydreams, some fantasies. It says, though, keep doing it. The visualization, didn't it say it over here? Create experiences. Create your experiences. Um, keep daydreaming. You're, you're daydreaming about something. Maybe you're daydreaming about the new beginning because you've just destroyed your tower, you destroyed your home. You have to rebuild it now, and now you're fantasizing about what does that look like to rebuild? What do I look like in this stage of my life? And guess what? You are gonna charge forward as a chariot. On the, you're just full board ahead, right? Um, it's saying that, I mean, you, you Visualize, grounding, and passion. Just keep focused on that. The sun, the warmth, the connection of life. Dig your toes into the earth that's grounding and feel yourself connect with the world around you. It's a nice little message. I also pulled some animal cards and I got transformation with the swan. It's a beautiful picture. A loss of innocence, that's maturing love it like it and beauty and um, guardianship with the totem guardianship and on the bottom of the deck of the animal deck we had opportunity to risk <laughs> fertility in life more new beginnings take that risk maybe all those daydreams that you're having is will manifest into something and it might be risk taking for you just just embrace it go with it take the lead because you are the you're the priestess you're being present value of nowness I read that one wrong but that's okay it still makes sense um, oh and then the very last card on the bottom of the deck of the tarot let's see if that pulls it all together that's great. A lot of a lot of fulfillment is coming. A lot of happiness and joy. Your cup is going to be full. So I hope that this reading for this week was helpful. I felt a little jumbled as I was reading it. Um, so hopefully it got translated smoothly for you, and you're able to take what you what resonated with you and leave the other stuff behind of course because I'm doing it this is a a collective reading on um on a collective ener energetic level so if you want more personal readings you can reach out to me I'll leave an email down below uh, I'll also leave my website and my story just keep in mind Monday Jones is not suitable for people under the age of 18 and uh, not for the work setting uh, I am, I do work in the adult industry and I do have a mature content on my website and just usually my mouth is a little more foul than what it was today. I'm just for mature audience, period. Uh, again, 
Hopefully this was gave you some insight about how to look at this week and look at yourself during this week and some of the things that may have been going on in your mind and how to ascend. I'm just going to just remind you to ground yourself, get into nature, meditate, divine masculine and feminine, meditate, meditate. That's how we're going to raise the collective vibrations right now, why we are going through this Whatever the hell we are going through uh, in the you know, I'm, on all levels, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> Just there's a lot of it, a lot happening right now in the world and in the United States where I'm currently at. So happy full moon this week, and at the end of the week, it is the the Lion's Gate on August eighth. Something tells me I probably will be back this week doing readings, anyways. Um, maybe daily readings, or uh, I definitely keep getting called to do a they and a them, the one that has the they, them, that has more of that balanced masculine and feminine energy reading. So I look forward to sharing that with you soon. Have a good day and have a good week. Bye.